we are on a mission to explore the coolest neighborhoods in Mesa. I'm Craig, real estate's my thing. My mom says I am the best real estate agent around. I'm Jared Albert, and I'm excited to be here in Mesa, my hometown, and to look at some of the places downtown that I grew up going to. That's right, today we're gonna look at downtown. We got the old historic clock, the Nile Theater across the road, 1924. The old museum with the dinosaurs we used to go visit as I was a kid. So we got eateries that we're gonna check out. We got historic places. This place is not as hopping as you think, but it's pretty cool. Let's go check. <laughs> Mesa Light Visitor Center. You got a sweet map. Let's go. I'm just chilling here with Humpty Dumpty in downtown Mesa because it's got tons of art local vibes. I mean, there's little art galleries, there's uh, old antique shops, even Humpty Dumpty himself has these cool little tags that people have done carved on his head. I mean, this is a pretty cool city. This was put here in 2007 to commemorate the year of the polar bear here in Mesa. There was a young polar bear that got lost and protected by its mother. They didn't know how it all got all the way down here, but this statue helps us remember the day that mom protected baby in the heat of Arizona. Years ago, there were some painters painting that U.S. bank. And it just so happened that these dinosaurs stepped in their paint as they were walking through because dinosaurs don't always pay attention to their surroundings. They've left their footprint all the way into the Arizona Museum of Natural History. This sucker was known to have roamed in the northeastern part of Arizona. I'm talking like Four Corners area. Now, if you're lucky, you won't run across this in your daily life. It's a notable creature. So here, we see a statue that commemorates the famous Little League baseball game of 1929, where little Timmy, you can see the clock across the street, stuck at the exact time where little Timmy hit his first home run. Moms everywhere were proud that day. I want you guys to know everything we're telling you in these videos is 100% factual. Down and to. It should not be verified by other sources. Do not verify it. Don't even Google to see where we're finding out this information. But I will say this Woo! Milano's music. Milano's has been downtown Mesa for the longest time. I mean, I rented instruments from here, I bought instruments from here, I bought drumsticks from here. I've spent $120 here my whole life. <laughs> I love Milano's though. It really is the old staple of, of music and providing to the community. Actually throughout the whole, um, where do we live? Eastern, East Valley? East Valley, yeah. East Valley, a lot of uh, music shops still get their instruments from Milano's. My son, for example, rents one from Milano's even though it's a music shop down by us. They've been awesome at providing music to the community. Speaking of high art and culture, Mesa is always here for the new releases. Back to the Future coming out November 22nd, yet to be seen in theaters. Cutting edge of art. Established in 1878. Proof on the wall. Downtown Mesa has some great eateries. Let's look at a couple of eateries. Hey, I got a question for you. Does anybody use the word eatery in their normal speech? <laughs> if you look at 12 Rest's logo, it almost looks like it's a gang sign or some sort of a gang art, but it's not. 12 West meaning 12 West Main Street. It's a brewery that came here a few years back. Awesome hamburgers, awesome sandwiches. Worth checking out for sure if you want to eat. Hey, another eatery in downtown Mesa where they've learned how to mix donuts and hamburgers. Hey guys, more eateries. Right here, Main Street Harvest. Speedy 2 Proof Eateries. Looking for some Venezuelan food? Que chévere. It's another eatery. Some people think that Mesa does not have a subway. It does. It's another eatery. Here we are in the front of the statue to commemorate the Salt River horses that run wild throughout the Salt River. And also in front of the Mesa Arts Gallery. These horses haven't been washed since 2003, as you can tell from their scraggly hair. Yep, very scraggly. They almost look like dogs. The reason these horses look so scraggly is because they've been out in the heat. It's actually starting to melt some of the uh, metal here. That's what happens in Arizona. W. Larkin Fitch. We have a statue in his honor. This man after my own heart goes by his middle name. You gotta respect a man that goes by his middle name. Fitch was known for 
getting rid of lots and lots and lots of gophers. This statue is in honor of Susie. Susie was a reader. A lot of people in Mesa's histories have read books. So we built a statue. Arizona is known for its petrified forest, but in here we have a petrified frog back in 2003 as this frog was leaping over to show a sign of dominance. Mother Nature took place, ice storm formed, and froze it right here at Robeson and Maine for all of us to view later on in life. Okay, we're gonna end today's tour in front of the Idea Museum. Ideas were things that people thought of a long time ago. Like a giant pink couch that's super hot. Yep. It's, it's so warming. Kids nowadays don't have ideas, so that's why we made a museum for it thing in the past. Thought we we're gonna end the video here, but this couch is too hot. <laughs> Thanks for joining us as part of our search for the coolest neighborhoods in Mesa. Downtown Mesa really is fun. Fun, exciting, and most importantly, Craig, historical. Historical. Now I hope you gather that we're very serious when we make these videos. Uh, we only use the best facts and Hopefully you learned something from this because what is life if you're not learning? And the best thing to do if you have learned something is to share it. Share it with your friends, share it with your neighbors, or even share it on social media. No, in all seriousness, thanks for having some fun with us. It was fun to go explore. Like, share, comment, follow. And be our friends. Okay, our goal is to show you some of the history of Mesa. Wait for me to get it. This is a Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus? Dilophosaurus. This is a Dilophosaurus. <laughs>